India has been a major destination for attracting foreign capital. Various initiatives have been taken by the Indian government to attract more foreign capital in India. More foreign investors investing in India brings a lot of benefits to India. It provides more opportunities for the Indian financial markets to develop. It makes these markets more liquid. When more funding is available, then it gets invested in various lucrative projects. Moreover, foreign investments also help in developing the India's market infrastructure, improving the processes to improve technology, and it brings with itself many more benefits. The key point to be understood over here is the difference between the two major types of foreign investments that are the foreign portfolio investment and the foreign direct investment. Let us try and understand the difference between the two using the examples. Suppose I am an investor and I want to invest in the foreign markets. Suppose being an Indian investor, I want to invest in US. There are two ways uh, of investing over there. One is I can purchase some existing business over there or I can open my own business unit over there. That means I am investing in the productive assets in the US market. Second way is that I can invest in the securities over there. I can purchase the shares, the ventures, bonds, mutual funds or other instruments in the international market. So the first example which I gave where I was either buying the existing business or setting up my own business unit over there, that's an example of a foreign direct investment where I'm directly investing in the productive assets of the other country. That very investment of mine provides me the ownership as well as the management right. I become the owner of those assets. I get the right to manage those assets, to manage that firm and I have a major say in the decision making. This is what the foreign direct investment is all about. The second example which I gave where I was investing in different financial instruments in the international market. I was buying the securities like equity, bonds, mutual funds. So there, although I'm getting an ownership right, but I'm not getting the right to manage those assets, to have a say in the decision making. That is a, that is a foreign portfolio investment. It does not give you the management and the decision making right. Think of a foreign investor coming to your country and investing in the shares of Reliance. If he buys few shares of Reliance, he becomes the owner of those shares, but he does not get the right to manage the Reliance company. He does not get the right to take various decisions for that company. But a foreign direct investment provides you with that very right as well. So this is the key difference between a foreign direct and a foreign portfolio investment. There are various other differences as well. Like the foreign direct investment is usually having a longer term orientation. But if I talk about foreign portfolio investment, although it can be made for long term, but it usually have a short time period horizon. Okay, usually a short term horizon is there for foreign portfolio investments. Then talking about another difference, that is uh, the general rule applicable to investment. Usually when the investment is less than 10%, then it is considered to be a foreign portfolio investment. And when that investment surpasses 10% level, then it's called a foreign direct investment. Although this rule might not work in situations where you are having the ownership as well as management right, despite of your stake being less than 10%. But usually when the investment is more than 10%, then it is considered to be a major investment and gets categorized under the foreign direct investment. I hope the difference between both of these types of investments is clear to you. If you are going through the finance currents, you would be aware that the government is coming up with various PLI schemes. It is thinking to accept the global tax deal. In fact, uh, India has agreed for the global tax deal. India also offers various other benefits to the foreign investors in order to attract them to invest in India. Their investment will provide various benefits to India and that's the major reason why the government is keen to attract foreign investment in India. This was all for today's video. Thank you so much.